It's so nice to have you here. Welcome, boys and girls. Hello again, everybody. I hope you're all doing well at home, staying safe and healthy. Um, welcome here to the video. I wish I could see all of you. I miss all of you, but I'm so happy that we can at least reconnect again. Uh, today, I am going to go through some of the activities that are written in your specials um, uh, activities for the week. Uh, go through those a little bit so that you can um, practice them and do them with your family a little bit. Uh, we'll do a new song at the end. Um, so I hope you all enjoy having a little bit of music class at home. Um, I know you've been busy with all of those activities from your teachers, um, from your specials teachers, and your homeroom teachers. So just think of this as, as some fun music activities uh, that you can do with your family. There's no grading or assignments with any of this. Um, it's just to, to keep going with uh, our music learning. Now, there is one assignment that you all have been doing, I hope, which is to sing a little bit every day. Uh, sing with your family, sing by yourselves, sing with YouTube, sing on the radio, whatever you want. Just explore your voice, enjoy your voice, sing every day. All right, first thing I want to do Right, I hope you got all that and re you're repeating after me with a nice steady beat. You can go back and rewind and do that a few more times just to get your, your rhythm going, that rhythmic training, getting that feeling. Um, speaking of rhythm, one of the activities that we put for uh, kinder to second grade students is to use your names uh, to find and make different rhythms. Um, some of us have done this in class before. Um, we've done it for attendance and uh, just as, activ as an activity in class. For example, we've said, let's clap our names for, clap the syllables of our names. For example, I put um, on the assignment, if your name is Jonathan, I know that we have some Jonathans. Hi, Jonathan, if, if you're watching this. Um, if your name is Jonathan, you would go, Jonathan, Jonathan, it kind of sounds like T-T-Ta, T-T-Ta. Now if you remember that T-T, those are eighth notes, and Ta is a quarter note. T-T-Ta, T-T-Ta, Jonathan. Now my name, of course, is Mr. Ducell, Mr. Ducell. Mr. Ducell. T T T Ta. T T T Ta. Your name might be something different. And sometimes there are different ways that you can put in the accent on your name to make the notes a little bit different. So two people can, might think that it's two different ways, and that's okay. I want you to try that for, with your family, with yourself. Try your f first name and your last name. And then you can try writing it out. Now, in a minute, we're going to look at our April rhythm and we'll see our quarter notes and eighth notes. Um, and you can remember how you'll see again how they're written and you can write them out, write out the rhythms for uh, the names of your families, the, the names of your family members. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Well, speaking of our April rhythm, um, what, last time we were in school was March, and we did our March rhythm. So I wrote out our rate, April rhythm here at home, and I hope you can see this. I'll try to get it nice and close to the video screen so you can see it. Here's our April rhythm, just like we'd have written on the whiteboard in music class. You can see we have a combination of quarter notes, 
eighth notes and quarter rests. So what I'm going to do this first time is I'm just going to point to each of these notes. I want you to say ta, tt, or rest. And then I'll go through and do them and you can check to see if you got it right. I know it's been a little while now, so don't, don't worry if you don't have it right that first time. We'll go through it a few times. So remember I count you in and then you'll say ta, ta, like that. One, two, ready, go. You think you got it? All right, let's go through with our tas and tts. One, two, here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ti, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Did you get it right? Good. Well, go back and try it again if you didn't. Just rewind a little bit and do it over again. Now, let's put the letters and the words to it. Again, I'll go through quietly and let you do it first, and then, we, and then we'll do it together. One, two, here you go. A. Good. Now, I just realized that it might be a little bit hard to read this part. This says, winter's gone, spring is here, birds and butterflies appear. So now let's do it together. One, two, here we go. A, P, R, I, L. Winter's gone, spring is here. Birds and butterflies appear. A P R I L. Very good. Again, you can just go back in the video and try this again. Practice a little bit, bit more to make sure you get it right. Now, I was calling this our April rhythm because we go through our rhythm notes, our quarter notes and our eighth notes and our quarter rests. But this is also a melody. Now, for some of our older students, you know that when these notes are higher on the lines or in the spaces, it means that the pitch is higher. If it's lower, the pitch is lower. We have three different notes in here. We have la, so, and mi. Now, I'm not going to go through all of la, so, mi again. A lot of us have worked on this before. You know what I mean. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this melody on the guitar first, and then you can try it, try singing it with the words. Now I said I'm going to play this melody. Just a reminder of what a melody is. A melody is when you play a group of no notes in order and then repeat the whole thing. A lot of the songs that you know have melodies that you know. The most famous melody probably that you would know is... And that melody repeats through the song, whether it's Twinkle Twinkle or ABCs or Ba Ba Black Sheep. You know the melody of that song. So the melody of our April, for our April, is going to be what is written here. I'm trying to balance it here with my guitar. Let's see. Let me just adjust it a little bit. There we go. Now 
Now we have three notes in here. La, so, mi. We start off right in the middle. This is where your A is going to be. So the melody goes like this. Two, three, four. Now I hope you are following along with your eyes, and you'll see that it goes A, P, R, I, L. Winter's gone, spring is here, birds and butterflies appear. A, P, R, I, L. Try going through that a few times, going through that melody that we have here. All right, good job, everybody. Now, speaking of melody, you have in your assignment for this week, um, it listed for the upper grades to create your own melody. Now, most of us don't have a guitar at home. You won't be able to create that melody with a guitar. So you're going to have to use your voice, which is great. That's a wonderful way to make a melody. If you have a guitar or any instrument, you can use that too. Now, there's a special thing that is in there this week. Mr. Mac put in your Clever accounts, for those of you who have Clever accounts, something called Chrome Music Lab. I want you to go into Chrome Music Lab, into the part where it says Melody Maker. And you can have a lot of fun with this, with picking a string or a sequence of notes that, makes a, that make a melody, and it will repeat and it will have a steady beat and can help you make a melody. Making a melody is a little bit easier than you might think. For example, if I'm just playing around on one string of the guitar, I can come up with a melody just playing some notes and then repeating them. could do it with your voice and just keep repeating and then if you come if you can if you're feeling confident in your melody put some words to it and you've created a song or a chorus to a song all right I hope everybody has fun with those activities go back watch this video again if, if you want to practice certain parts um, oh, I'm going over time a little bit already but I want you well let, let's sing along with one last song just before we go um, there's a song that we played a few years ago for one of our shows. Um, so you fourth graders might remember this. You third graders, I'm not sure if you, you, you might remember it as well. And some of you have just heard this song anyway. It's called This Land Is Your Land. And I think during this time when we're all in our own places and we're trying to connect, it's good to think about our whole country, about our whole world, and, and how we're all connected. This, this is your land, this is my land, this is all of our land. So I'm just going to sing the chorus of this song for you. Maybe you could sing along with it, practice a little bit, and then we'll, we'll try singing again next week. This land, this land is your land, this land is my
lot of verses that go along with it, but we could just work on that chorus for now. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well at home. Like I said, please stay safe and healthy, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, everybody.